not me fucking money. About two day call, fight some world champion. I- See what I mean, right? Andrew Tate had nothing going for himself, nothing going for himself whatsoever. And you know he what he done, right? He thought outside the box, right? To make companies happen, make businesses there like that, make side hustle jobs there, make extra cash there. You know what I mean? Like literally, he wanted to end it, end his life basically. Is what he wanted to do. He wanted to end his life there. He didn't care if he lived or died. The video that he's saying. You know what I mean? He was basically like Conor McGregor. Right? Conor Conor McGregor hated that. It's like, oh, normal life there. Doing a plumber's job. Fuck this. There. What did he do then? Changed his mind to giving up his uh, career as a plumber. And become... A millionaire, billionaire, trillionaire, UFC fighter guy. Basically, for UFC. Really? Oh, yeah. For UFC cage warriors. There, you know, is the thing. From Dublin, Ireland. You know? And Andrew Tate then went through the same thing. He had nothing going for himself. Didn't go to college there. Did crap in school, probably. You know what I mean? And then... um outside the box then he was hungry for the money he didn't care what Andrew Tate did not care what job he had in the first place he did not fucking care what job he had there right he did not care if he was p- picking up dog poo for this amount of money per hour there he just said to himself at least I'm getting money at least it's money coming in at least it's money coming in and then he actually got super focused thought outside the box even more made up his own companies and everything there like that you know what I mean like he was saying that if you look at the people right the vicious circle you go to school you listen to what your teachers say there make an annual income of 50 60 g's a year you know what I mean and then that's how wealthy you're always going to be. And it's like, that's not enough. You know what I mean? That's not enough. You still have to work for people. You're a slave, basically. You're working for a billionaire, trillionaire, woman or a man that owns that company. And you sending your CV there, you think you're great and all there. And then you're only making 40, 50, 60, 70, 100 Gs a year. And then that's it. Like, oh my God. That is shite money. Right? And billionaires and trillionaires will say this. Shite money altogether. It's shitty money. Is the thing. You know? And he's right. It is shite money. Is the thing. You know? Because billionaires and millionaires will always say that. Really? Yep. It's just the way it is. You know? And they do follow the vicious circle. Because, see, like, if you think about it, right, everyone can do this. Get qualified, there, have kids, have a wife, there, like that. And then that's it. There, you have a house and all, paid off, whatever. And then it's just like, everyone does that. Everyone has a house. Everyone has a family. What you on about? There. whoop the do You want a feckin' medal? But if you think outside the box, there, everyone has eyes and ears there because of one thing only is that you didn't follow the routine like everyone else. You were a billionaire. You're not supposed to be a billionaire or a trillionaire. That's why everyone is looking at the billionaires and trillionaires. Same thing with Jeff Bezos. He taught outside the box. There, Bill Gates taught outside the box. You look at Elon Musk. He taught outside the box. There like that. You know what I mean? What do you think everyone's eyes and ears, like I said before, what do you think? Because they're shocked that uh, people are making billions and trillions and they're they're not supposed to make that much money. Exactly. Because they didn't want to follow the pattern of a normal lifestyle. Oh. Now I get you. Yeah, exactly. They want to... Billionaires and trillionaires want houses after houses... 
there, several houses in their name, loads of properties in their name, making massive income coming in and everything like that, enjoying lifestyle, they don't have to work a day in their life basically, you know, they're set for life basically and everything like that, you know, enjoying themselves there while people that think they're brilliant, there, I've one of the Friday nine to five jobs all, all the time. Oh yeah, I rock. I I'm I'm qualified and everything like that. And it's like you look at the billionaires and trillionaires. Everyone that has a house and living the normal life will always be gawking and looking what the billionaires and trillionaires are doing. What do you think that is? Because they thought outside the box, and their normal life people think that's wrong. You can't be doing that. Oh, now I get you. That's why Andrew Tate wanted to be the one looked at, basically. Look what I'm doing. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Yeah, I get you. You know, for one reason only is he wanted to be, wanted to be the king. And he is a fucking king. He has loads of money. He has loads of sports cars. They're like that. So does Conor McGregor. Look at Jeff Benzos. There, plenty of money in them. You know what I mean? Look at other UFC stars there. Plenty of money. Look at all the soccer players there thinking outside the box. Plenty of money. Look at Ronaldo. Look at Christian Ronaldo. Loads of money in their back pocket. You know what I mean? Loads of fucking money. Because they are wealthy. There, they thought outside the box. There. And soccer players, okay, we started on soccer players. Soccer players have like one income, right? Yeah, and one massive income, should I say. But they don't use that just for one income of playing soccer. They buy several properties in their name, yeah. Sell them, of, as in like renting, yeah. Make money out of it, there like that. So when they retire from football, yeah, they have maybe, for instance... Five houses, five mansions, like, you know? Yeah. They give those there and they put up the price to this amount of money to rent for a big-ass family or whatever, thing, everything like that. And then they are milking the cash. They have income coming in like that. Plus, playing soccer also on top of that. You know? So soccer players are really, really smart with their money. So are UFC stars. So is Jeff Benzos. He probably has plenty of property in his name there, making more money while he sleeps, basically. You know what I mean? So if his company went down by a lot, yeah, in shares and bonds and everything like that, yeah, he would actually be still be a trillionaire, millionaire because of his bank account, number one. Number two, he has probably has loads of shares in houses. So it'd be like maybe like, like a, a pile of rent in one house and then another house, another pile of rent rent there. And they're like, oh, that, that's okay for one big lifestyle. Ah, that'll do me perfectly. Like that. And then plus his pension then if he has one. You know what I mean? Oh. So he's milking the cash basically, you know, isn't it? Yeah, millionaires and trillionaires always think like this. You know? And then their normal life family then are always looking... At them. Lose 10 kilos in two days, had nothing else going for me, go on a plane to Dagestan and fucking walk. But there's been times in my life where I didn't give a